I truly can't believe what I just witnessed. I'm still in the state of shock when it comes to Xbox and what they've done this entire generation. Or more importantly, the complete turnaround I'm seeing. Not only did Xbox start a generation the worst you possibly could have started a generation, they might have just ended a generation the best possible way they could have ended it. The type of investment I'm seeing from Xbox, the type of transparency I'm seeing from Xbox, is some of the best I've seen in a company do. And what I mean by that is the way Xbox has completely reformed the first party developers they have in the Xbox Game Studio family. You throw in the way they marketed the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S and Game Pass and you truly have the best place to play all your games. Right now, for all intents and purposes, Xbox has really taken the gaming industry by storm and set themselves up for one of the best generations someone could ask for coming up. And now on this fine Monday, Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, announces the biggest announcement in the gaming industry I have ever seen personally. Xbox has bought Bethesda, one of the biggest gaming developers in the entire world. That's right, you heard me correct. They bought all of Bethesda, the people behind Doom Eternal, Wolfenstein, Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, and of course, games coming up like Starfield, Quake, and Dishonored. I can't believe what I'm seeing, and I honestly believe Xbox became one of, if not the best first party developers in the entire gaming industry. But let's break down exactly what they got, and let's talk about what this means for the gaming industry along with the next generation. Not to mention the timing of all of this. So I'll talk about what Phil Spencer wrote to the fans and the gaming world because he had to announce this. And he put up a pretty nice write-up talking about everything that they've done and what they're trying to build for Xbox and its future. Let's get into this. But first, like always, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. All right, enough of that. Let's just get into this write-up because I honestly can't control myself. And I just want to know how this came together. And more importantly, what studios Xbox got with this massive, and I mean massive, acquisitions. Here's what Phil had to say in his write-up. Critically acclaimed creators of The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Doom, Dishonored, Quake, Starfield, and more join Team Xbox. Today is a special day as we welcome some of the most accomplished studios in the games industry to Xbox. We are thrilled to announce Microsoft has entered into an agreement to acquire ZeniMax Media, parent company of Bethesda Softworks. As one of the largest, most critically acclaimed, privately held game developers and publishers in the world, Bethesda is an incredibly talented group of 2,300 people worldwide who make up some of the most accomplished creative studios in our industry across Bethesda Softworks, Bethesda Game Studios, id Software, ZeniMax Online Studios, Arcane, Machine Games, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog, and Roundhouse Studios. These are the teams responsible for franchises like The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Doom, Dishonored, Prey, Quake, Starfield, and many more. Okay, let's stop it right there because I'm reading all of these studios and all of those games and I can't help but realize that it's massive AAA studios. Not to mention, he mentioned some of my favorite games of all time like Doom and Doom Eternal and of course The Elder Scrolls. And you top it off with Wolfenstein and Starfield and Dishonored and you have some of the best developers in the industry making games just for Xbox's ecosystem. But let's continue with the article because Phil Spencer has a lot to say and to be honest with you, kind of geeking out over here. Bethesda's games have always had a special place on Xbox and in the hearts of millions of gamers around the world. Our teams have a close and storied history working together from the amazing first Doom and its id tech engine, innovating games on PCs to Bethesda bringing their first console game to the original Xbox, the groundbreaking The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Over the years, I've had many deep conversations with the creative leaders at Bethesda on the future of gaming, and we've long shared similar visions for the opportunities for creators and their games to reach more players in more ways. Now, I have to wholeheartedly agree with this. If people remember, Xbox has had one of the best relationships with Bethesda, especially Todd Howard and other people from these development teams. And I don't just say that because Phil Spencer said that. I'm saying that because they've continuously been on the Xbox stage at E3. They've had exclusive games dating back to the first Xbox console. It's been multiple studios and Xbox that have had an amazing relationship. And seeing this now makes it all the better because they've had this relationship that's really cultivated into something great. And if you remember a few videos ago, I mentioned that Xbox needs to really work on relationships with developers around the world. Work with studios like Sony has and help make them into exclusive partners and later down the line, make them first party, like they did with Playground Games. But never, and I mean never in my wildest dreams, did I think Xbox would get all of Bethesda. 
which would make them a dominant figure in the gaming industry, especially when they come into developing first party games. Because they'll have such iconic games in their back pocket now, which Phil brings up here. Just as they took the bold first steps to bring the Elder Scrolls franchise to the original Xbox, Bethesda were early supporters of Xbox Game Pass, bringing their games to new audiences across devices and have been actively investing in new gaming technology like cloud streaming of games. We will be adding Bethesda's iconic franchises to Xbox Game Pass for console and PC. One of the things that has me most excited is seeing the roadmap with Bethesda's future games. Some announced and many unannounced. To Xbox console and PC including Starfield, the highly anticipated new space epic currently in development by Bethesda Game Studios. Boom! You want to talk about Xbox Game Pass which is already the best value in gaming? Well, that service just became a must have for every single gamer in the world. Long gone are the days of people saying the Game Pass has no great games and it's not the best, blah blah blah. This service now has some of the best and I mean best franchises in the gaming world right in the service. This is how you change the gaming industry people and this is how you make a dent in the next generation if you actually want to win it. You go out and you make the biggest move in the entire industry and you announce it day one before you put the pre-orders out for next generation consoles of the Xbox Series X. I mean, talk about execution and talk about making the competition look ill-prepared. But I digress, so let's continue with the article and what Phil Spencer had to say. Like us, Bethesda are passionate believers in building a diverse array of creative experiences and exploring new game franchises and in telling stories in bold ways. All of their great work will of course continue and grow and we look forward to empowering them with the resources and support of Microsoft to scale their creative visions to more players in new ways for you. This is something I can't help but mention, which is the type of games Xbox is making right now. They literally have the most diverse first party lineup in the entire gaming industry, bar none. Yes, even beating out Sony's first party games. While Sony has highly rated first party games that makes us all happy when we play them, they don't have a diverse lineup like the Xbox Game Studios. I mean, you have racing, shooters, RPGs, action adventure, multiplayer games, and a bunch, bunch more that I can't even mention. Things like Sea of Thieves and games that I've fallen in love with because I didn't even know I wanted yet. From now on, Xbox is going to release amazing games on Game Pass almost every single month, it seems. And I have a feeling they can actually do that. But let's close it out with what Phil Spencer had to say here. All of our work and the foundation of our relationship with you starts with a commitment to deliver a breath of amazing games to discover and play on Xbox. Over the last few weeks, we've been excited to share more detail on important elements of a plan we've been building towards for years. A plan that is the fulfillment of a promise to you, the Xbox player, to deliver the most performant, immersive, and compatible next generation gaming experiences, and the freedom to play blockbuster games with your friends anytime, anywhere. Today is a landmark step in our journey together, and I'm incredibly energized by what this step means for Xbox. Please join me in welcoming all of our friends at Bethesda to Team Xbox. And there you have it, people. I think this is one of the best announcements from Xbox I've ever seen, and truthfully, one of the biggest announcements in gaming I've ever seen. And if you remember over a year ago on my channel, I said Xbox was looking to bring out four AAA games a year for the Xbox Game Pass. It was an investor call and it was something that was floating around the internet and the gaming industry. Most people thought it was crazy and to be honest, so did I, and that it would never happen. Well, after seeing this and all of the other studios Xbox has brought on, I have to say that it's possible now and I have a feeling that Xbox is going to execute their plan next generation. I'm just happy as gamers, we're all going to be here to reap the rewards of great games from Xbox. Because right now, they brought out some amazing games. Gears 5 is a AAA game. Halo Infinite might have gotten delayed, but there's a bunch of games out there that I've really enjoyed. Games like Gears Tactics, Ori, Xbox has been really killing it the last two years for me. I've really enjoyed the experience on Xbox Game Pass. I've really enjoyed the experience on just the Xbox ecosystem. I've been extremely happy with my purchase and I've been extremely happy with the dedication and transparency Xbox has given us gamers. And right now they just brought the biggest acquisition I've seen in the gaming industry from anybody. Talk about a great execution, talk about a great plan, and talk about an amazing generation coming up with the Xbox Series X. Let's hope Xbox continues to put the foot on the gas because right now they're coming next generation to win people and I truly believe that. But enough of what I think, tell me what you think about all of this. Can you believe Xbox bought all of Bethesda? What games excite you the most from this acquisition? Does this make Xbox Game Pass the best deal in gaming by far? Are you in shock just like me? What new studio excites you the most? What can Sony do to combat this? Go down below and let me know.
And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. Right now, I'm playing Marvel's Avengers and a bunch of other games. I'm having a lot of fun on Xbox Game Pass, just kind of going through it and playing these little games here and there, like golfing with friends. Plus, I'm probably going to be jumping into these big games that Bethesda just dropped into Game Pass because you know what? I'm hyped. But tell me what you're playing. Are you working through your backlog or are you going to be jumping into some of these Bethesda Xbox exclusive games? Go down below and let me know. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.